Hey y'all, my name is Mike, Goat Locker Straight Talk. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Hit the like and subscribe button so other folks can get these videos as well. If you don't mind, hit that bell so you can get reoccurring videos. Hey, some time ago I did a video, I think it was from uh, a survey done by bankrate.com, and it was interesting and quite frankly disturbing, right? Um, and I'm going to rehash a little bit today because I see it happening more and more in the news and I'm hearing about it. As you know, I like to read the news, follow the news, so I can get some ideas that will affect your retirement and my retirement and, and your journey in retirement down the line. In any case, they did a large survey. Now, this large survey normally means between 5,000 and 50,000 people. Out of that large survey, half of them admitted to not having $1,000 in an emergency fund. Now, what can $1,000 buy you today for an emergency? It ain't much, y'all. Now, it may give you one or two Hail Marys, so to speak, then it's gone, okay? Um, I talked about these things uh, two years out on a checklist. That's one big one right there. And believe me, I wouldn't retire unless I had one. Now, I'm not saying you can't retire. I'm saying I wouldn't retire unless I had one. That's probably one of the most important things you're gonna have because I'm here to tell you, something's gonna happen in retirement. I wake up every day, I know it sounds odd, and my wife's hit me up on something. Fix this, fix that. And I thought I had the whole honeydew list done, right? When I first retired. Something always going wrong in retirement and you gotta fix it, okay? I told you about the story of, about uh, the power in the room went out a couple of videos ago. That's a, just a prime example. It's 105 out today. That HVAC goes, that's a big expense. If you got to get a new one, that's a good twelve to $15,000. That's a lot of damn money that you might not have. And then how are you going to pay for it? How are you going to get the money to pay for it? I'll tell you how you're going to do it. You're going to get a loan. Are you going to borrow from your house, etc.? Uh, take out a second loan. That's not a good idea in retirement, y'all. If I was you, I'd be at least saving ten to fifteen thousand dollars in my retirement uh, emergency bucket account. Now, y'all know I love buckets, right? And everything, every dollar, everything has a name on it, and it goes to a bucket. It's either a travel bucket, um, you know, emergency fund bucket. Uh, a new car bucket, whatever bucket I think's deemed necessary for me, I got them. I got like five, ten of them, because I love buckets. In fact, I can't wait to hear your comments about me changing the name of the channel to the Bucket Man Straight Talk Vice Goat Locker. In any case, that emergency fund will keep you out of the doghouse, so to speak, financially, um, in the future. Y'all need to think about that because this is real. I hear it all the time on the financial news sections of each uh, TV station or the internet. It's deep, y'all, and it's important. Now, this is straight talk, so I'm telling to you the truth here. That's important. Y'all get it done before you retire. All right, y'all. Y'all come back now. You're here. Hit the subscribe button. Goat Lock and Straight Talk out.